Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome. Welcome back. I can say welcome back. I've played this game before. To Ultimate Fishing Simulator 2. Are you hyped? I am ready once again to unironically enjoy an extremely niche game. <laughs> This game's just for me. They only made it for me. Nobody else wants to play this thing. This is a me game. It's all mine. Um, profile selection. I got a message that said they found my old game save, but they didn't like it, so they deleted it. I am insulted. I made all that progress in uh, May last year, I think. Um, and I really wanted to carry it over, and I'm very disappointed. I'm kidding. I, I don't remember what I did. I don't think there was anything important I did. Uh, type in my name, uh, Maroka. Do I want it normal? Normal knee. Uh, best for new players or fans of good fun. Realistic knee. Uh, some features are unavail uh, unavailable. Underwater camera, teleport, or the ability to change the weather. Designed for players who prefer more difficult gameplay. It has separate rankings. Or. Sandbox. Unavailable. This is early access. I should get that out the way right at the start. This is not... Uh, it's out-out. You can buy it on Steam. It's it's there. It's not like a finished game. Um, I just played the demo of it a year ago. Like this is the, Now it's early access. You can, you can do this. You can play this. You can buy and play it. But it is not finished. And I guess that includes Sandbox. I'm, I'm a little bit tempted to go realistic. I mean, I'm obviously not particularly knowledgeable of much in the way of fishing. So, normal sounds like it's probably for me. I'm more of a fan of good fun. But also, the one thing that always rubbed me up the wrong way about this compared to something like a fishing planet was the underwater camera. Like, if you are going fishing, you do not get to see the fish that you're reeling in. I'm like, that's not how fishing works. You have to go based on what you can see on the surface. So, you know, realistic. I don't know, it feels like the right option, but let's, let's go normal. Let's go normal for now. Uh, choose my gender. Uh, neither of those. Uh, oh, okay, fine. Uh, we have a fishing net. <laughs> fishing net. <laughs> is that? Wait, hang on. Is wait? Am I? Am I? Is this? Can you just like customize your fishing net, or is that like? Is that the name of their like their network that tracks everybody's stats? It's the it's it's the fishing nets. Cause I kind of love it. <laughs> Here is my fishing net profile. <laughs> yeah. No, no, like, no, it's lit no, it is actually literally just fishing net. Okay. I'm, well, now I'm disappointed. I wanted, I wanted to log in to the fishing net. <laughs> Track all of my stats. I want to post my status to the fishing net. <laughs> uh, ooh, I can have an aquarium in my resident. I, oh, where do I live? What's my house like in the world of fishing? Come on. <laughs> I cannot afford this house. This is This is a this isn't a house, this is a museum. Who who lives in a house like this? Rich people don't live in houses like this. This is just a museum. God, I need a front desk with like an owl on it to like guide me through all the wings of the building like good lord what, what are the, like there are literal like display cases They're not just like fish tanks holy butts what's the rent on this place <laughs> well okay Let's see. Uh, equipment. What is my equipment? I got. We got the. Uh, we got the feeder master 270, 2.7 meter. The UFE Barracuda 2000 BT, three kilos. Three kilos. Three kilos. I feel that, is that is that is that is a real normally like three kilos? That sounds that sounds like a big chunk of stuff to be like 
attaching to your stick. <laughs> I know fishing, shut up. <laughs> UFE mono clear 0.12, yeah. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I got a leader, a 2.5 kilo leader. Wait, what? Uh, is that what weight it can... Oh, yeah, it'll be like that can take three kilos of strain. This doesn't weigh three kilos. I know, fishing, shut up. <laughs> and a Robinson Classic Twist, eight centimeters. That looks... Is, the, is that meant to look like some sort of bug that fish eat? Because that's real weird looking. Fine, okay, that's what we're going fishing with, because I ain't got anything else. Um, go fishing? Go fishing. Go fishing. Exit location. Okay, I mean, that seems like a little oversight that you can't just... Like, I have to leave the house before I can... Before the go fishing button is active. That's weird. Uh, welcome in Ultimate Fishing Simulator 2. Early access. They need to hire a proofreader. Guys, I offer my services. I am av I'm available at decidedly reasonable rates. Um... I am enthusiastic enough about fishing to proofread your game, and I'm a native English speaker. I will do your proofreading. Hire me. Uh, yeah, I want a tutorial. Not actually sure where the developers of this are based. The sort of untranslated bits earlier in the menus made, made me think po Poland? Poland, maybe? Uh, it's got a lot of, lot of shaders to load. So many shaders. Oh boy. Just some real beefy ass shaders. Just gigabytes upon gigabytes of shares. Oh my god, game. Okay, I mean, chat among yourselves. Um, I might go out for a walk, come back. See you in like half an hour, see if it's loaded then. Maybe. Got a few jobs to do around the house. Probably do that while it's loading. Never finished reading War and Peace, actually. Could go get that. Could definitely, like, make some progress on that one. Yeah, is this broken? Oh boy. Do I have to recycle that old Penny Arcade joke about harnessing my latent psychic energy during the loading screens? I think it was like, was that, I think it was like first ever comic. I, I, I actually, like, <sighs> I can hear noises, and uh, I've not got like a, you know, pinwheel of death or whatever. Which makes me feel like the game's still working, but also like, I should definitely have done something by now, right? Give me a loading bar, guys. Give me, like, this is this is what loading bars are for. You need a fishing minigame during the loading screens. Yeah, apparently. Just, you just play Stardew Valley on the loading screen. Do that. Uh, yeah, this is, this is what loading bars are for, to like actually reassure people that the thing is doing the thing. This is why they invented loading bars. Guys, okay, for, I have further feedback. In addition to hiring me as your proofreader, put a loading bar on your loading screens. Two, two valuable pieces of feedback so far. One, hire me. Two, loading bars. Actually, legitimately tempted to restart the game and see if I can get it to load faster the second time around. 
But what if I lose all my loading progress that I've made? I've made so much progress, I think. I don't know, there's no bar. Without a bar, I have no idea how much progress I've made. Maybe I'm only like 2% of the way into the process. But what if I'm like 98% of the way into the process? Okay, even the birds have stopped now. No, 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 the birds are back. It's fine. It's okay. Cool. Don't panic, everyone. The birds are back. But, legit. You know what? I've got the sound. I've got the audio balancers. So you probably can't even hear the birds. I didn't see an options menu, but I didn't look for one either, so. Um... Okay, yeah, we 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 we'd stun that again, I think. Come on, game. Not making a good first impression, guys. Come on. Okay, Alt F four doesn't work. Let's try that. Right. And cell can be activated using Alt and F F two. What? I know. Uh, I know Nvidia updated something without my consent the other day because like my computer just ground to a halt, and then it was like, "Well, we installed a thing for you." I was like, "Wait, what?" I'm like, okay. I don't know how that happened, but I don't love it. Uh, right. So we are. Wait, I did. Was, was yeah, tutorial. There we go. The tutorial map. Go fishing on the tutorial map. See, there's a loading screen, loading bar there. Hey, there we go. Okay, clearly, like that was not supposed to happen the first time around. <laughs> Let me try kaiju fishing. Wait, was that was? Was that an option on the screen? Was that one of the fishing fishing areas I could go? Was that a thing? Did I miss that? Was there a kaiju option? I'll, I'll fish up my camera. Uh, you can move around the fishing ground using words on the mouse. On the right side of the screen, you'll find information about the weather and the equipment you're currently using. Look around the ground and approach the water. I can do that. Well, it is pretty. Pretty in a, we spent a lot of money on the lighting engine kind of way. All right. Here seems like a good spot. One of the more popular fishing methods is float fishing. Select float set now by pressing 2. I don't think there was any tutorial in the demo. Okay, simplest way of casting the rod is the short distance cast. However, keep in mind to aim for a spot with sufficient depth. Prior to casting the rod, you can adjust the float with square brackets. Perform a short distance cast by pressing and holding PPM. I see guitar and pick up, but I don't see any PPM key. Oh, there's a game called Kaiju Fishing that has a demo. Well, oh, well, that's now on my radar. Okay, interesting. <laughs> it does ring a bell. I feel like I've heard that somewhere, but yeah, I should probably have definitely checked that out. Uh, right, it's probably gonna adjust the float depth. Mm -hmm. Aim for a spot with sufficient depth. Adjust the depth with the brackets. Performance isn't my uh, right. It, what's PPM? Is PPM like? Primary mouse? No. Um, I can go. Okay, that was not. That was actually. A, I think that was a proper cast. But hey, oh, it's highly pixelated even at 1080. Well, my, my stream. Uh, it's yeah, my internet has has definitely got limits as uh, to uh, what it is capable of. Sorry. <laughs> Um, yeah, if you need better quality, um, you're going to have to talk to the people who have a monopoly over the internet in my area, which is not great. It's not a good system we got around here. It's very, very American. 
PPM untranslated for right mouse button. Thank you, Jessica Tim. Useful. I, know, I, I like right mouse button. I like kind of like seem to like hold the line, and then I had to like left mouse button to go. Bloop. I'm, I'm sitting when I try this list, but I haven't tried it yet. Kite you fishing. Fair enough. Yeah, it sounds quirky. Right. Reel in with left mouse. Change the reel speed with mouse wheel. Uh, just the drag strength with plus and minus, and reset the cast by Q. Now fully reel in the line. Okay, we did it. You can long, perform long distance cast by pressing and holding left mouse button. Aha. Ah, I see. Hooray, I did it right. Polish game? Uh, I'm thinking so. I didn't, like, make a note of it. I did notice one of the areas on the menu for for fishing was... Was it Slovakia? So maybe maybe that. Maybe they're like, oh, we need to put some some home territory in there. I don't know what Slovakian fishing is like, but we can find out. Your next task is to catch a fish. That is, that is the main task of fishing, really, if we're honest. You can use the underwater camera by pressing U to see what's happening. Wait for the fish to become attracted to the bait. All right, I will cheat just this once. I will maintain. You don't get this with real fishing. This should not be allowed. Yes, it's pole. Oh, it is. Oh, cool. All right. Thank you for confirming. Ooh, I see fish. Fish don't see me. I think they're a little concerned about the big camera that's underwater pointing at them while they're eating their food. Just a cameraman in scuba gear underwater, like, filming the bait. Oh, that one, that one, that one's making a beeline. That one's interested, I think, maybe, possibly. Dun -dun. Dun 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 When fish takes the bait, you must hook it at the right moment. Try to make the line as tight as you can. Press right mouse button to jerk. What is the right moment? Is now the right moment? Once you've hooked a fish, you can freely pull it to shore by pressing and holding left mouse button. Pull the fish to shore. I'm guessing there's no particular risk of like the line snapping or anything here. Got a bunch of meters in the bottom corner. There's one above the fish, but yeah, cool. We got a fish. After catching fish, you can keep or release it, each granting you different bonuses. Release the fish now. Next, select a spinning set by pressing one. Uh, Six, uh, that's weird that the way that like I had to mouse over that, but then the XP like ticked up over a couple of seconds. Oh, okay. So six XP for releasing, four XP for keeping it. But I guess if I keep it, I can also sell it for one dollar fifty. Right, we'll get some XP for it then. A 
time for a new type of fishing! In this step you will learn how to use the spinning method. Perform a long distance cast by pressing the left mouse button. Alrighty. Guide the lure so that its effectiveness is as high as possible. In the upper right corner there's a lure indicator. When it turns green it means the effectiveness is increasing. Reduce the retrie retrieval speed to 10% and retrieve the lure until you get a bite. Keep casting until you manage to catch a fish. Okay, where's the speed? Okay, down there, right in the corner. Aha! Now, I'm sort of vaguely familiar with the techniques from, well, the demo of this previously and also Fishing Planet previously. Um, None of them ever really told you what you were doing with them. It was always like, yes, you're doing a lift and drop. I don't know what that means. Is that a... Hey, I got a bite. Cool. Yeah, I don't really... It's just like, I'm doing a thing. I don't know whether it's the right thing. I'm just doing a thing. And sometimes fish bite when I do a thing. So, you know what? I appreciate a tutorial. Who knew? Oh, this one, this one, this one's a fighter. Wait, oh, is this because my uh, ah, it's because my reel reeling speed was slow. It, that applies to both reeling it in, like as a technique, and also actually bringing the fish in. Okay, okay, okay. Also. If I go too fast, it's maxing out the line bar and that blue bar, whatever the blue bar is, that's unclear, but I guess I don't want to max that out. Woo, got a thing. Putting a fish in the net. Select keep to put the fish in your net. Net is used to manage fish. You can open it by going to the main menu with escape and pressing and opening the player profile. Woo! I got a I got a wiggler, a chain pickerel. Cool. Sure. Got it. Where's my net? I want to see my net with the fish in it. Pressing M will open the map. I can teleport. Whoa! Fishing superpowers and change the weather. Well, looks good. Uh, so we've got we've got two like. I guess primary fishing spots, or are they like are they specifically the teleport spots? Oh, they are just yeah, that's just you can't just teleport anywhere. All right, fine. Yeah, teleport over there. You can find all the information you need under the help tab. Cool. Tutorial done. All right. Uh, wait, hang on. No, no, don't, don't go back. I want to, I want to, want to look at my fishing net. Yay, chain prickle with seventy-one cents. I have it in my aquarium, a trophy. I have a look at it. I don't imagine that that was a particularly exciting fish, as as fish go. I don't know that it's the sort of thing one takes home and proudly displays. So... Okay, so we can keep a maximum of 15 kilos in there before we have to like start making decisions. Cool. Alright, let's... Do I have any money to start with? Oh, we start with $200. Okay. So I could go pick up some stuffs. Three lures for third level, spinning for beginners. Oof, nine hundred dollars. Lures for the seventh level. Floats for eighth. Eleven thousand dollars. Oh boy. Accessories. Ooh, support stands. We can like. Do multi fishing. M -m 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 multi fishing. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Yes. Good. I don't know anything about any of these. <laughs> I can assure you of that. 
free line. Sweet. I'm guessing that's the basic one that's like, you know, in case you run out, you can always get infinite amounts of that. Alright, well, I don't know what I'm buying there, and I don't think I need them. So, we have options of the United States, uh, Zalasi Letisko, Slovakia, Kiel Canal. Uh, I'm not going to attempt to pronounce that. I. Nope. Don't know a lick of Russian, uh, but it's Russia. And Thailand. Ooh, that sounds exotic. I'm. Wondering if the Jackson County one is the one that was in the demo. It feels familiar. And Snake River sounds familiar? But it could be, I don't know. Do the thing where you fish. Oh, that, that, that's all I do. Fine, let's... Uh, so I'm assuming that these are like maybe some sort of ascending order of difficulty. So, start with the American fishing. Some... Basic ass American fish. This is not the level I did in the demo. I don't know. Maybe. Oh, it might be. Could be. Right. Wait, it has a chat? This is multiplayer. Oh my god. Guys, get in here. We can have multiplayer fishing. It will really enhance the experience. I don't, I don't know what that would do at all. I guess you could have a little fishing tournament. I said I didn't want, like the underwater view, but... Gives y'all something more to look at, I guess. Also, getting moved with the currents this time, I guess? Well, it's weird because, like, the water texture on the surface makes it look like the water's flowing the other way, but then the grass on the bottom is moving the. Like. I am confused. Like, the line's clearly moving to the left, but the water definitely looks like it's moving to the right. Ooh, bubbles. It's definitely where the fish hang out. Do we need a really long line, like, dangling way down into the bowls to lure out something hiding at the bottom. Apparently this is multiplayer, Elzeth. Do you, do, would you like to play? I see fish. I see a couple fish. That's not a fish, that's a log. <laughs> oh no. Shojiki catch a brown bo Wait, I am I am playing online. Oh, I did not realize I was playing online. Uh where is where's my my things oh, way over there? I'm going to say Q brings it back in. Oh, there we go. You have to start reeling it before Q brings it back in. Fishing is chilly. What if you owned it? Check your emails. You might have got sent a copy. I didn't buy this. I, like This is a press copy. Chill stuff is sailing and flying. Yeah, those are both pretty chill too. Um... But nothing more chill than standing around in nature, looking at looking at nature. Where's 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 everybody else then? Does it show me other players? No. Right.
wonder if I can see those bubbles on the surface and then like land my lure in it. Or float. Is a is a lure lure specifically this, this the lure is like a, a dewberry, isn't it? Is it this just a float and bait, it's not specifically a lure. It's terminology, it's it's very fluid when I'm fishing, for sure. What if I were to get the other type of thing and go that away? You can't see players, just shows what other people are catching. Oh, okay, cool. Ah, oh, we got the... Oh, wait, hang on. What's the right speed? Is 10% the right speed? There we go. Good, slow, straight. My spinny orange dewberry. Hey! Fish on the line! Ooh, 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 that bar went red. Ooh. Okay, I think he got tired. Ooh. Wait, why is it, no! Why is it red? Red bad, I, I assume. No. I feel like I may want the tutorial to give me slightly more in the specifics and the minutia of fishing for somebody who doesn't actually do fishing IRL. <laughs> hey, brown bullhead. Is the contrast in the game a little high? All the colours are a little blinding. It's very... Yeah, possibly. It's very... It is very... It's got a bit of pop to it, right? Um, 5 XP to release, 3 XP to keep. Yeah, get out of here, you. Uh, what we got in the way of an options menu? Do we have an options menu? Settings, right there. There it is. Uh, Bum... All the lovely shinies. Is there a... No contrast. Chromatic aber... Chromatic aberration. That seems like a bit, like, out there for fishing. Blur I'll happily leave off. Bloom I'm not sure I need. A lot of grey with popped reds and greens, so the colours feel more pronounced. Yeah, I guess. 90 messages for something called Dynabomb. Uh, that's uh, definitely a name that rings a bell. It's, I've seen somewhere in my inbox, and I don't think I've read a single one of those messages myself. Um, right, well... Don't know if there's anything... Else. Ooh, Shadows on Water. Bet that'll destroy my graphics card. Give me that. So far, it's okay. I'm not sure. Is there a frame? Can I get a frame rate counter in here somewhere? I don't feel. I feel like. I feel like the uh, the pretty pretties is definitely like, <laughs> given my uh, now slightly aging rig, a bit of a run for its money at this point. I don't normally play very visually complex games, so uh, it's probably challenging it a bit more than many of the things I play. John B6 caught a yellow, yellow, uh, yellow perch, was it? I didn't really see. Red bar means the line tension is too high. Use plus and minus to change tension. Aha. Uh -huh. Thank you for being the tutorial. Are you one of the developers, by the way? I noticed you're giving me a lot of pointers here. 
If so, welcome. Hi, thanks for stopping by. I have no idea what I'm doing. I love fishing get mini games. I don't do fishing IRL. Um, I got really into Fishing Planet years ago. Didn't really know what I was doing, but kind of enjoyed it. I played quite a bit of that, to be honest. And I don't know, it's become a kind of a running... I want to say ironic joke, but it's not even ironic. It's like, I genuinely unironic do quite enjoy this kind of thing at this point. Stuff on my channel. Oh, you just play lots of fishing games. Okay, cool. Well, thanks for stopping by regardless. We got you! What I get? What I got? What are you? Here's a bullhead. We can release for 3 XP. Get out of here. I wonder how I do the lift and drop. I mean, it's still green. It is not green anymore. I am not doing a lift and drop very well. To be fair, I guess different. Oh, we got a thing. I guess different laws are designed for different types of things. In fact, yeah, literally up there, set one specifically says slow straight. So I guess that's the type of type of thing it's designed to do. So if I try and do a lift and drop, it goes, uh -uh, no, you're doing the wrong thing. What I get? Ooh, pretty. What are you, a pumpkin seed? Cute. New personal best. What is bleep bleep? What is bleep bleep? What what is that? What does that mean? Did I level up? I don't know. It's fishing a monster hunter. Mm, okay. Well, ooh, well, that's that's a good selling point. Final Fantasy games have fun fishing. Um, I don't remember any fishing in any Final Fantasy. I've not played like a lot of them, but I played nine when I was a kid. I played 13 a few years back. And I played a bunch of different tactics ones. But I don't seem to recall fishing in any of them. I feel like 9 would have been most likely to have fishing, but I don't remember it. Torchlight 2 has fishing. Mm. Oh, there's frog catching in it. Oh yeah, I remember frog catching, yeah. Um... Let's go good fishing then. Oh, we're getting into fishing minigame discourse, are we? Um, I still really like, I still always like Stardew Valley. Stardew Valley is pretty good. It's just a very solid fishing minigame. Can't go wrong with Moonglow Bay. Moonglow Bay was alright. The story was a little bland, but that was a fun enough little game. 15 has the fishing minigame. Aha. Uh -huh. I imagine the MMO 14, 14 must have a fishing minigame in it, right? Like, MMO's got to have a fishing fishing thing. And I keep contemplating playing 14. I mean, it, it's going to happen one day. It's just a matter of when. 
I follow too many people who are into Final Fantasy XIV that, like, it's kind of inevitable because everybody, everybody who plays Final Fantasy XIV just posts about it so goddamn much. It's a problem. There's various streamers and a number of artists that all just like, yep, that's, that's just a lot of Final Fantasy XIV content on my Twitter feed. It means it's Yep. Basically committed to playing it sooner or later. I've had a few friends who are like, yeah, let's get into that. And I'm like, oh, I played World of Warcraft for three years. I don't know if I need an MMO in my life. <laughs> You'll play 14. Ah, oh, okay. Tempting proposition. Um, I got that's, Now there's more people telling me to play it. Oh, no. I don't think I can commit the amount of life required to sustain an MMO. I do play Sea of Thieves, I guess. Actually, yeah, no, you, you know what? If we're talking, if we're talking fishing mini games. Sea of Thieves is a very solid fishing mini game. I dig uh, Sea of Thieves mi fishing mini game. Fishing mini game in D and D. I have mostly avoided. I don't know. I. I haven't avoided MMOs for quite a while now. I spent a while... You know what, actually, I think I think the... Uh, I say that knowing full well that the bloody uh, sort of strap line on my YouTube page is MMO content. Because uh, for a while it kind of was. I played WoW for like three years and then was on and off trying to find other things to like hook me. I obviously played Spiral Knights a load, which doesn't have a fishing mini game. Um and then after I stopped playing that I kept like jumping between other things trying to find anything remotely interesting and none of them engaged me. Like I never found an MMO that really scratched that itch. Uh how do I what do I do? Uh minus for attention or drag. Um how do, how I do? Other minus? Ah, other minus. Not the, n not, not the numpad minus. Nope, that is gone. Fish gone. Right. Uh, I don't know how I rectify that in future. Do, did they... Did they take my bobber? Is my bobber gone with it? Ooh, my bobber's gone. How do I, how, how do I, how do I put another one on? <laughs> uh, equipment. Do, 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 uh, bubble attack. Do I have, okay. Uh, yeah. Do I just have an infinite amount of those? That one I do not have an infinite amount of. That one is a consumable. Wait, hang on. I wasn't float fishing anyway. I was lure fishing. Lure fishing! Wait, how do I... hmm. So that's that, then that's that. Uh, wait, what? But this is floating. I have done... Uh, yeah, th I should not have done this then, should I? How do I remove this? No. Delete this profile? Yeah, yes. Back? Yeah. No. What? Where my lure at? Also not really sure which type of rod is needed for which thing. What I know, what I am fairly confident of is that I think I've put my 
all of my bobber equipment on my lure fishing kit. And now I don't know how to change this. What if I were to set up a new... No, because the rods I'm already using are already in use. Uh, right, well now I'm... Hmm. Now I don't know. Yeah, it took the stuff. Okay. Um, dang. <laughs> How do I put the stuff back on? <laughs> Fishing in our D&D. Indeed. You didn't realize Broker would love fishing. Aha, you fool. <laughs> Uh, Tim says, you played Final Fantasy XIV when it first came out, it was a good MO at the time, required to actually be good at stuff, as with any MMO, it takes a lot of time. Yeah, that is, that is, the, that is the issue I do have with MMOs, is just that, that time consumption. Uh, somebody teach me to remove the thing from the thing, I had to, like, unequip? Can't, I can, ooh, I can drag, I don't think that's helpful. Help. Not the help I was looking for. Inventory help. And create a fishing set will be assigned to one of these keys. One, two, three, four, five. Quickly press the key to quickly use a pre-made set. Uh, you must add a spinning reel to a spinning rod. Cool, that is what I was concerned that I am doing wrong. Although I'm surprised the game allowed me to do it if it's not right. Let's try it. The set is incomplete. Okay, fine. Um, fine. Uh, equipment. Yeah, because I haven't put any bait on it. Oh, it is a universal rod. Ah, a universal reel. Okay, so it can be used for anything. The tail rod is specifically the float. Uh -huh. Right, well, float fishing it is. No idea whether I stand any chance of catching anything with float fishing around her. Game's very buggy, it might be that. Okay, fair enough. Noted. It seems like a little bit of a design oversight to not allow you to sort of unequip. Although, like, actually. Maybe I just only had one lure. Well, then maybe that was it, that was the lure I had. And it ate my one lure, and that's it. That's the reason I can't find it to equip it anywhere in my inventory, is because there is nothing else. I just only had that one lure. Maybe I need to go to the shop and buy some more of those.
I'm guessing the trick with float fishing is kind of just to know sort of where the fish that eat them are and what depth they're at and dangle the right food for them in the right place. I don't know these things. Alright, let's try the shop. Basic lures free. Ah, good, good. That's useful. Uh, lures. Uh, yay, free lure. That's the one. The Robinson Classic Twist 8 centimeters. I will have one of those. Cool. Give me a bunch of them. Can I just like, ha just give me like a hundred of them. Uh, maybe I did. Maybe I did. <laughs> did I buy a bunch of them? Who knows? I was a little bit concerned the purchased item pop-up was going to just like queued up like 500 times there and just be like, just be staring at that popping up every two seconds for the rest of the evening. All right, equipment. All right, this guy, Barbatech, slider, waggler. No, it's not a slider or a waggler. It's not a float weight. Uh, it's, it's not one of those. Hey, it's one of those. Cool, yeah. Can't select this item. Yes, because it doesn't go with a float. I I do get this, but you won't let me unequip the float. What have I missed? Come on. There's, 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 there's something I missed, right? What if I just keep pressing keys and see if one of them unequips things? What do I need? Is there something else you would put on there in place of that? I don't know. Right. No. No. You sure you want to reset element? Yes! Yeah! Okay, cool. Right, that's... You click that and it wipes the thing out. Cool. Universal rod, use that. Reel, universal reel, use that. Uh, line, use that. Then, what on earth is that? A carp tack feeder. No, I that might be a mistake. I want that. Do I need a? Do I need a leader? I guess I need a leader. Sure. Why not? Hallelujah! We figured it out. Got it, the arrows left. Oh, I think you, you must have figured it out the same exact same time I did then. <laughs> Lewis Bevo 12, caught a, gra a grass pickerel. Hey, who's on the line? Got our own grass pickerel. This one ain't even fighting. Is it, is it even still on the line? Have I lost it? I feel like I might have lost it. I lost it. 
Wait, what? Oh, no. Oh, what? It was chasing it. I just saw the fish dart through the water. Also, that's kind of cool. Ooh. King of Canada caught a salmon. I expect no less from the King of Canada. Oh, that's gone. Ugh. Dang, that just, like, I wasn't even, like, particularly reeling that in, especially. I and mean, it just, just kind of went. Oof. Uh, that means I need to equip it again. One of you. Oh, apparently I have 25 of them now. Good. Good. Excellent. Ah, uh, cool. We got a, a little pumpkin seed. Looks shinier than I remember the last pumpkin seed being. Ah, oh, it's gone. Hey, ooh, catfish. Uh, what what do I do when there's a lot of line tension? How do I how do I? Oh. This is what I mean about the game needs to tell me more about the like minutia of doing that kind of thing. I don't know how I ease off the tension. Like, presume there's a way to sort of like let the line out, but I don't know. Help. Fish struggle. Okay. 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 Oh, there's a bunch. Okay, cool, 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 cool. After the initial hook, you have to tie the fish out and bring it as close to shore as possible. Process aided by adjusting the strength of the drag, line reeling speed, tilting the rod, Pumping and pulling the fish out of the water with right mouse button. Fish vein strength and endurance behave differently when trying to break off. Mind the equipment tension, which is indicated by three bars, line rod reel. Maximum tension can cause equipment damage. Strength of equipment is affected by the condition of all its components. Okay. Lift and drop, retrieve slowly, jerking with right. Oh, that actually tells you how to do those techniques. I dig it, I dig it. Plus and minus key is less or more tension. So what if 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 there's if a fish bites and the bars just go straight to red, well I can just like reduce the tension and that will help. Is that right? Okay. There are no more techniques. I'm sure there were more techniques in the past that I was aware of. But not today. Ooh, we got a skill tree. Economist and Dodger. I'm going to spec into Dodger. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Hook fishing. A special blah, 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 blah. Fish. Game has a life cycle system for fish. As time goes by, the fish get bigger and new specimens appear. You can sell the fish you catch, release it, use C to use the. Cool. Okay. So, okay, right. Let's put a new thing on the thing and have another go. Would I be better setting the drag a little lower to start with, just in case? Mm. 
then I guess I can up it if I need to. Oh, I see one coming. Maybe not. That one's got it. Nope, not interested. Blurgh. Catch fish. What am I doing? What? Why? Why? Why is it? Why? They, why do they keep letting go? Am I just not right clicking at the right time? Okay, right. Lower drag. Lower drag. Okay. Good. Okay. Okay. This is going to be good. This one's good. Distance two and a half meters. Oh, it's almost in. Almost got it. Oh, this one's gonna be worth some points. It was a good fight. In, 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 nope, nope. I don't know if I need to be adjusting the drag continuously during the fight. It eases off. Do I up the drag? Where is he? Four meters. He's way less exciting from the surface. Oh, dang. Yeah, I can see the appeal of the underwater camera. Come on. It's just flipping back and forth between like two and four meters away. What are you doing down there? I see you. I see you. I see you. Oh, 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 you're out of the water. Yes, got you. New record. One dollar do. And five XP. Woo! Right, where else can we go fishing? Let's go from the old bridge. Leodge was here. And catch a duck. Yes. Oh, 
aura, whatever that is. Not really a duck, is it? Is it a duck? Strange, exotic American waterfowl. I don't know, not one I recognize. Very tame. Oh, there's a big fish. Very big wooden fish. Am I going to get snagged in that? Okay. Uh, did I get a bite? Oh, yeah, that's that's there's something on the line there. Not a big fish. <laughs> it is not fighting me. Ah, <laughs> uh, there's a bass. Now that's all about that bass. That's worth more points than the last one. The last one took forever to fight. What? I don't think they spent as much money on the uh, on the uh, bird animations as they did on the fish. Oh. Slow, slow. Where's everyone getting the salmon from? Salmon's got to be worth some points. I want some salmon. I bet you can sell that as well. Ain't nobody going into a fine, fancy restaurant and ordering, ordering chain pickerel. But salmon? Whoa. Okay, this one's a fight. Little bit of a fight. Where is it? It's down in the down in the weeds. Come on. Yes, bluish to you too. And or and or phrasing. Um <laughs> Group in a little place where catfish was considered fine dining. Oh, okay. I mean, I have heard of catfish being served. I don't think I've ever... I don't know that I've ever really seen it. I don't think it's uh, particularly commonly served in the UK. Duck thoroughly un unbothered by the fish fight underneath it. Uh, come on. Ooh. Is that a salmon? Is that a salmon? It's... I I, don't, I, I gen genuinely do not know. Yeah, anyway, come on over here. You never seen like I mean I think a pickerel's like a very much related to like a pike, isn't it? Like a little pike. Hey, there's my salmon. We can keep it and sell it for eight dollar dues. Yes, told you it would sell. Keep it for 11 XP. Release it for 17? Yeah. Okay, well, I mean... 
probably should be making some money out of some of these, I guess. I want to buy things. But also $11, or $8 even, doesn't seem like enough yet when most of the stuff was quite a lot. Uh, eh, do I work on leveling up or do I work on buying equipment? Yeah, I'll keep it. I'll keep it. Still 11 XP, so that's pretty good. Uh, yeah, so, pike. I don't feel like I've ever seen pike served anywhere. I mean, eh, fish is, like, imagine most fish are edible. I don't see why you wouldn't serve it. Up. Nope. I'm sure somebody's eaten a pike, but... Never never seen it on, on a menu. Catfish are bottom feeders. <laughs> well... Yeah. Catch a salmon is a real upstream battle. Yeah. Some interest. Mainly not one that's fighting. Oh, we got Pickerel. Get out of there, you six XP. Where am I at? Sixty one out of a hundred to level two. What could I possibly get in the shop? No, oh, they want to buy lures. I just lose them. <laughs> Does it tell you anything about what they're good for? 3D. So real. <laughs> So, oh, I got some spoons. Qu ah, requires level two, I see. This is also something Fishing Planet didn't really go into any great depth on. I was just like, here's some things, pick the uh, color you like, I guess. I'm not reading that one else, no. And get a frog. We cannot get a frog. Three hundred and fifty dollars for a lure. Better be catching some damn big fish with that. Okay. Well, I guess we work on getting to level two, and then I can at least have a have a spoon. One thing these games never always seem never seem to particularly have is fly fishing. Not that I'm super appreciative of what the difference particularly is mechanically. All I know is that like my dad used to do a bunch of fly fishing and like he had his own like fly tying kit, which I remember like playing around with as a kid and making like flies and stuff and 
He had, he had like a guide of like, here's how to make a thing that looks exactly like a real fly. And I was like, I put the colors on the thing. This one looks really cool, doesn't it? And he's like, yeah, I won't catch anything because it doesn't look like anything that actually exists. So the fish won't care. I'm like, yeah, but it looks good. Yeah, you should try using it. Uh, see, it's, 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 a, it's a good fly. It looks good. I'm like, that's, that's not how it works. You're, you're trying to make it look realistic. No, I'm trying to make it look good. <laughs> Yeah, never did much, never did, uh, float fishing, sure, also a thing. Never seemed to quite get the hang of it. Never did anything with lures. And yet, it always seems to be like the main focus of these fishing games. You can always have a spoon. I don't need the don't need the drag set to a hundred. That's a good way to lose another bait. Got a bite. Oh, oh boy. Oh no. That's, that's, that's something that's putting up a fight. Ah, okay. Okay. Salmon. 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 I could just have a look. That's not a salmon. Ugh, why am I even bothering? One thing I do remember Fishing Planet had was like a kind of a fishypedia kind of thing that told you what kind of lures different types of fish would look for, which is kind of useful. Come on, come to me. You were so obliging for a moment there. Oh, this one's going to be worth like 5 XP. It's really not worth the fight. I need to find out, find out what salmon I'm most specifically interested in. Alright. Come on. Arduin joins the room. Hi, Arduin. Come back here. Hey, gotcha. 
Personal record. Whoop, 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 whoop. Right. Uh, da, 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 da. None of these things tell me about fish, do they? My fishypedia. I don't have a fishypedia. Open my fishing net. Sell down. Kaching. Making bank. Settings does not tell me about the fish. Boo. Maybe I can uh, peruse my fish museum at home. Well, I could if I put anything in it. Bait's on the ground. Ow! I can't cast that far. Okay, we're in the water. Good. Fine. Need to try doing some float fishing in some different spots, I think. Yellow perch. Three. Okay, it was very easy to catch. That's fine. <laughs> but it's like, if you find a spot where you kind of like want the lure to be, like this river's moving, so it kind of just gets swept away. So I guess you kind of need to find like a fairly still patch of water. Like here. There's a bob. There it is. Okay, I see it. I see fish over there. Hey, okay, cool. Zars, another yellow perch. Well, that's worth more than the last yellow perch. Uh, right. Let's try over oh, in the we in the reeds and things over there. Got to be interesting stuff over there. Okay, Let's try not casting it so far. Dang it. Okay, we are in the water. Good. Who there? Big yellow fish. Come eat the bait. I 
Is that a salmon? It's a duck. Got a bite? Got a bite! Woo! <clears throat> Bring it in. <coughs> That's a, yep, that is another perch. Fine. Go fishing from up on the bridge. <laughs> lift the fish like twenty meters out of the water. <laughs> okay. Let's get some distance, but in a direction where I've got some distance to throw it. Eh. Hey, that's in the water, I think. Nope. Nah, dang it. It's not on the ground. I can't throw that far. That's going to be daft. We really need to change the depth on these. Can I? Can... No. I did wonder if you could do it on the fly, but that would be very silly. So no. I actually, don't seem to be drifting down the river here. Nice calm spot. Okay, let's bring her in. Try. That's just cute. Length. Du -du 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 -du. How deep can we go? Two and a half meters. Interesting. Go with two meters. Now we're down in the depths, where the interesting fish lurk, like that big red one in the background. Maybe too deep. <laughs> Oh no. Rainbow trout. That sounds cool. Oh no. My graphics card doesn't like the seaweed. Just weed. I guess seaweed has to be in the sea. This isn't the sea. Yeah. 
You there. Must be hungry. That one just spawned into existence. Just fish just popped out of nowhere. Hello, is this game multiplayer? Uh, it is, as it happens. Um, whether you can, like, I mean, I've not dabbled or experimented with it. Um, I guess you could probably invite people into a group. Uh, the menu seems to suggest that there is tournament functionality potentially in the works. Uh, right now, it mostly just seems to be kind of you end up in a lobby with some folks and you get to see what each other are catching and you can chat to them. Uh, I don't think it's anything more exciting than that right now. But, yeah, there's... Yeah, I'm down here with, uh, apparently, Barbecue Penguin, George, Irina, Swivels and Sonar, King of Canada, Jun495, Enigma, John, Louis Bevo 12 Bleh, and Fab72, Arduin, Prot, and Kelter. Some of those names I've not seen in chat. I don't know if they're actually doing much fishing. Let's try one and a half. No worries. I've not like dug deeply into like what the developer's roadmap is or anything. So if there's more, if there's intentions of having more of a, like a, having a physical presence in the world and seeing each other's avatars and stuff, that I don't know about. It would seem like a likely sort of direction to take things in, because uh, I'm pretty sure this is, oh good lord, <laughs> I think that's basically where Fishing Planet started out once upon a time, they, when they launched, they were like, yeah, no, just, you're just in a lobby together, like, you get to see what each other's catching. And they eventually developed it to the point of being like, oh no no no, you you can like, you can like wander around together. Oh god, that was a really big fish there. Nope, just a log. Penguin barbecue, smoky sweet spicy seasoning, a little rubbery. <laughs> no, no, so someone somewhere must have eaten penguin. Google it. What does penguin taste like? That's, dang it, that's, that's a duck. Looks a bit like a penguin. Go there! Take the bait! Man, I need to stop doing the underwater camera in the weeds. It's just it absolutely eviscerating my graphics card. <laughs> easy. A lot of effort for a very little perch. Two! 
Dang. Dang yellow perch. Well, those yellow birds need somewhere to sit. Yeah, 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 yeah. Animal Crossing fish jokes. <laughs> Um, speed down. As much as I object to Alzarath's puns, actually the, the terrible fish puns were probably the, one of the best bits of the Animal Crossing fishing minigame. Oh come on, you you brought you there, like, you were like a, a good fish, big fish, don't know where you are, not clear, not sure on that one, but you definitely worth some points. Drifting back into perch territory. Except for that guy. There, that one. Big one. They probably just don't take this kind of bait. Think that's a rainbow trout, maybe? May go back to lure fishing, this is not serving me very well. I don't know if there's something I don't get about float fishing. I definitely, again, sort of seem to have like had this experience in previous fishing games where the, the float fishing is like, yep, that's the type of fishing you can do, but it only ever seems to catch you garbage fish. Oh, hey, okay. Pickerel, I'll take a pickerel. Redfin pickerel. Ooh, new type of fish. New fish just dropped. Worth 48 cents. <laughs> It'll be dark, but kind of funny to make a modern reimagining of club penguin, but make it seals. Club seals? Really? <laughs> What was the I can't, I can't remember. What was the version of the the fictitious version of Club Penguin they uh, they had in uh, Four Lions? They like had the terrorists like using not Club Penguin to coordinate themselves. <laughs> hey, that's a thing. Like Puffin's place or something like that. Oh wait, hang on. I, I, wait, it's still telling me what I'm doing in the corner, which tells me I actually haven't got a bite there. I must have lost it. All right, All right. There we go. That's on the line. 
Oh, God. Ah, no, 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 no. Okay. A little bit more. A little bit of drag. There are, there are a lot of knockoffs, what, like legitimate, genuine knockoffs, huh? In terms of sort of blast from the past kids things that I go back to like, go, oh, what are they doing every few years? Um, Neopets. Went back to find out, huh, what are they doing a few months back? And it turns out NFTs. So, you know, rip those guys. Here, kids, invest in cryptocurrency. Like how there's a ton of Roblox knockoffs. Yeah, fair. Yeah, fair enough. Um, that that strikes me as really weird because like Roblox isn't really a thing in itself so much as like an entire weird user-generated game platform. Seems like that's kind of a, like there's one thing to knock off a game, but then it's like ah, oh, we made a knockoff of Facebook. I was like, well, no, you you can't, you can't. I mean, you can, but like, it's, it's not gonna work. <laughs> Unless you're Donald Trump, want to make truth social or whatever it is. I don't know how many people use it. I presume it's just everybody who was at January sixth. New grounds, he bounds world, kill frog. I've not heard of kill frog. Uh, ah, my graphics card. It hurts. Um, sure, but like, I mean, you can't make them in the sense that like none of those things caught. Okay, new, new grounds and e bounds world were different. New grounds was a flash game hosting thing. They did. They weren't the tools to make the thing where Roblox like actually is specifically its own sort of walled garden with its own tools to develop things and then its own like marketing system within it to like sell that content back to its use. It's really weird. Um, Ebound's world was just stealing other people's content. They were like a content aggregator that just read it before read it really. Except without any, like, I don't think it even had much user input, did it? Don't know about Kill Frog. Never heard of that one. Uh, whenever anyone's shown any screenshots of Truth Social, it always looked basically identical to Twitter, so I assumed it was, uh, yeah, similar in sort of some sort of principle. Oh, you're just talking, oh, you're just talking about going back to old stuff. Oh, I see. Uh, Newgrounds, I presume, still going strong. Like, I mean, I imagine Flash being discontinued probably took the wind out of their sails a bit. But, I mean, enough web developers are basing their stuff on HTML5 that, like, probably didn't hurt them too badly. Um... Ebam's World. I have not heard that name in years. Does that still actually exist? What have I caught here? Is this a... Oh, what even are you? Is that a yellow perch? That's not a yellow perch, is it? It's very yellow. Kill Frog was like Newgrounds, but one creator. Uh, okay. Yeah, there were a few websites like that that did like, hey, we make Flash games, but it's just me making Flash games on my website. Uh, one I played, I did, was thinking about this kind of recentishly. I need to like see if it's still around. I don't know what, I feel like I should know the name of it. 
person who ran it, but I don't. But the website was Horizonal. Um, had loads of fun little flash games. They all had high scoreboards on it, and I would try and get on the high scoreboard. Hey, have I won? Have I beat the fish? Suck it, fish. I beat you. Small mouth bass. That's what it is. It's worth some XP or some money. Not. Mm, I'll take the 5 XP. Thanks. Oh, yeah. Got a 5 minute boost to XP, a 5 minute boost to money, 20 dollar dues, and a skill points. Are those boosts in effect immediately? Also, that's a little disconcerting when you've got XP and money boosters. Like, are you are you gonna are you gonna be selling me these? Is this a thing you're selling? Ebam's world isn't around, but no idea what it is now. Well, you know what we have to do now. We have to find out, right? Ebam's world. What should it just be like malware? <laughs> Uh, yeah, huh? I th this. So you know, like the targeted ad that that I guess not specifically not targeted. You know the ads that get run in place of like targeted ads if you don't allow targeted ads. It feels like I'm looking at a page of just that content. So that's Ebam's world these days. Um, <laughs> cool, 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 cool. Very respectable stuff. Sure. Um, the other one I do, I would really want to find out what Horizonal is doing, and if it still exists. Hey, Ferry Harlem, that was the guy who did it. Um, yep, website absolutely, absolutely exists. It has no functionality whatsoever because it was all Flash-based. Yeah. Most recent tweet, December 31st, 2020. It's the end of 2020 and also the end of Flash Player. I still remember making my first Flash game, Apple Season. Good times. First and only tweet. First and last and only tweet. Um, no other... No other news. Because, <laughs> like, when you go to the page, it's like, yep, Flash Player no longer supported, go to Twitter for news. I'm like, well, that's the news. Huh. Did he just, like, absolutely give up game development? Like, when... I mean, he may, he may have given up game development long before that. Uh, website created in 2000. Um, some of the games are on the App Store, fair enough. Doesn't say when the last game was made. Yeah, he may have stopped making games before that, but kept the website up, potentially. But otherwise, yeah, he doesn't seem to have, like, continued doing games since Flash got discontinued. Which is a shame, because they were super cute. They were really nice games. Um, what has happened since I tabbed out of the game? I can no longer cast this thing. What's, what's, what's wrong here? Cool, 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 cool. Yep, uh, I can't switch between rods. Note to self, do not tab out of the game. That makes it unusable. All right, well, let's exit location and try a new area. Let's do that. Oh, tournaments is available from the main menu. Ah, it is in, ooh. 
Captain Loudfart, winning with a rainbow trout of 3.7 kilos. <laughs> 35 minutes remaining for $400. Catch the largest fish within 60 minutes. $50 to enter. 400 for the win. Okay. Oh, does it uh, like oh is it, you just get the uh, the prize pool is just everybody's entry. So if eight people enter, uh -huh. I presume it's just like winner takes all then. You buy in and take everybody else's money if you win. The daily tournament. Twenty-two out of twenty. Really? Twenty-two out of twenty-two. Like, there's a limit to how many participants can be in the daily tournament. That seems surprisingly limiting. Hundred dollars to enter. Twenty-two hundred if you win. Use any method. Does it tell you where you have to fish? Oh, Jackson National Park. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh, largest number of fish. Oh, total, oh, total, oh, right, okay. Just total weight of fish or largest number of fish. Is this... I oh, know, it is running. So there's two daily tournaments, and I guess they kind of... Uh, the, the, okay, weird. I'm, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, that's just... that. You know, that actually, no, that doesn't sit well with me, because that just, like, encourages, like, really unhealthy MMO levels of binging games like ah you win you win a prize if you catch the most fish in 24 hours like, ah, okay i guess this is what i'm doing all day long now uh, not no don't care for that Ooh, i got a skill point i can be an economist or a dodger i can have a tie what is the tie Attractive competitor. Increase lower effectiveness by 5 cents and accelerates the time it takes to get a bite. Interesting. Breeder. Urgh. Okay. Aquarium. Fish in aquariums grow faster. Well, okay. Is that useful to me in any way? Can you sell them for more money if they grow big? More XP. Uh, okay, you have to unlock those. Obviously, in the tree, you have to, like, actually... Wait, are we going from top to bottom? Yeah, we are, right? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, improve, increase sale price. Ah, uh, yeah, you can sell them from the aquarium. Speaking of people you haven't heard about in years, Dodger. Yeah, she's she's still she's still about. Um, I follow her on Twitter. She still streams stuff occasionally. Um. Hasn't made any YouTube videos in a very long time. I used to watch her YouTube videos way more than anything else. Um, but yeah, she kind of seems to have just given up on YouTube videos. Uh, I guess she moved to the UK. Because obviously she married Strippin from the Yogg's cast. And yeah, she used to... Be being that, that weird, like, YouTuber's co-working office thingy that Jesse Cox did. And then I guess she's in the UK now. But also she and Jesse Cox set up a game publisher together? But I also haven't heard anything about anything that they're making since they announced, hey, we're making a video games publisher. So... I don't know what they're doing. Jesse keeps, like, doing all the Monster Prom stuff, which, fine, cool, give me Monster Prom, I dig Monster Prom. I think he might have even published... Did he publish Max Gentleman Sexy Business? Possibly. Seems like his kind of thing.
But I don't know about the, the, the one he said he was working with Dodron. I think all they said was they wanted to make an FMV game. And that's the last I heard of that. Uh, right. So I want to... I want the XP. I want the XP one. Give me that. Okay, well, catch fish more effectively. Yeah, cool. Brilliant. Perfect. No notes. Ah, no, no, don't quit. Um, Just home. I have quests? I have quests? Are the quests randomized? Or is my screen just having a seizure? Uh... I think it's the seizure thing. It does kind of look like it's doing a round and round and round it goes where it stops nobody knows kind of thing but also like that's doing nothing and I cannot stop it. Uh, so I don't think that works. Price five points. Oh you need to earn quest points? What? All oh, right, you do the daily quests to earn the quest points. Or well, you would if you could take any of them and then spend quest points on buying a thing. Which, uh, maybe click where it says point. Nope. Enter. Space. Stop. Go. No. Um, no. Fine. Let's go fishing again. Uh, Thailand. That's a... Uh, okay, all right. No, not allowed in Thailand. Not allowed in uh, Zalasi Letnisko, either. Fine. Back to Jackson County it is. Let's go in the evening in light rain. Sure. What could, what could my graphics card love more than light rain? Oh, yeah, getting some ambience. Where do we want to be? Uh, let's go here. Okay. Ah, fishing at the dam. Sure, why not? Okay, so I've got my new skill points, and oh, I could buy the I could buy the spoon now. Maybe the spoon is good for salmon. Hey, you're not salmon, but you'll do for me. Redfin pickerel. Boop, 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 boop. I wonder if it should be like sticking a load of the little ones in the aquarium and growing them into big fish so I can sell them. Uh, shop, 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 shop. Thirteen dollar it is. Uh, oh, well, I yeah, uh, made a little bit of money, sure. Let's just make sure not to lose this one. Bread. Wait, it's free. Ooh. Haven't I been using earthworms as, like, the basic bait, though?
Okay, non pretty Okay, well that tells you a little bit about what to use them for. Earthworms for medium perch and bream. Bread is for grand roach, bream, rud, barbet, chub, eyed, tench, and carp. Almost all species of freshwater fish except predatory ones. Perch and bream. Uh, I was catching a lot of perch, wasn't I? With yeah, that'll do it. Area needs more lightning and swords. No, I don't want to be struck. And grubs are for non predatory fish, caddis fly, mainly roach and carp. Cheese? Cheese is too good to be feeding to fish. Interesting, but selective bait for fishing in rivers is yellow cheese. Oh, I see American stuff. <laughs> Just squeezing it out of the aerosol onto the hook. <laughs> Most common prey for such bait are barbels, but omnivorous chub won't scoff at either. When preparing cheese, cubes or irregular lumps are put on an appropriately sized hook. Such bait is rarely considered, but most but its most important advantage is attracting larger fish. Twenty dollars worth of cheese on a hook? How much cheese are you putting on there? Or corn. Yeah, you can't, yeah, so it's just don't catch very good fish with baits. Mm. Interesting that these ones don't tell you what they're about, though. They give you, like, oh, vital statistics, but it doesn't say, this is good for doing this. All right, uh, let's try out my new toys. Let's not get this snagged or lost. Turn the drag right down. Uh, oh, we want to go a little faster with this one. This one is optimally done as a straight draw. A straight draw. How slow can you go? 18 is a slow straight. Tw anything over 20 is considered a straight. Cool. That speed that's going along the surface. Okay. That's an inauspicious start. What if I was to go slower? It would not light up green. That's what it would do. Maybe there's nothing out at this time of day, or this kind of weather, that eats little green and red fish on the surface. You there, big pink fish. No. Let's try here. There's a big old bend in the river. Oh, that's where I was before, isn't it? There's plenty of room, big open space. Try and make this work.
Okay. What about your bridge? Wait, can I not teleport to that? Teleport me here. I feel like this is where the good fish were. I say that on the basis that I caught one salmon. It's my only rationale. That's not my only rationale. My other rationale is that I've seen what do appear to be salmon or possibly rainbow trout down here reasonably frequently. Don't know if they want to eat one of these though. Or if they're bothered about feeding in the evening. That's what I mean when I say I need a fishypedia. Come on, in you come. Well, better than a kick in the teeth. Can I easily change the time of day or do I have to leave and come back? put together a steam guide to the fish. That might be a place to look. What fish do you find where and when and in what weather and what do they eat? Got it? Got it. Alright. Was fighting a little bit, a little bit, but not much at all. Mm. What was that? That looked tiny. It's a salmon! Whoop, 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 whoop. The dinkiest salmon in existence. Good lord! I'm gonna keep you. Uh, and you're going into my aquarium. XP for a salmon, why I why I order. Come on. Da oh, got away. I totally yoinked it. Doing a slow lift and drop. There we go. There we go.
mean, if this is a realistic simulator, presumably I could just look up realistic fishing tips. Do we need to Google how to catch rainbow trout? Woo, record little diddler. That, 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 don't, don't call it that. Note to self. Tiddler. That's probably the word I was looking for. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Right. Rainbow trout catching. Rainbow trout. Stardew Valley? No. Fishing. Rainbow trout fishing tips. Yeah. If you see fishing, if you see fish swimming near the surface, increase the length of your hook length so you can present a bait close to the surface. Take a small amount of power bait. I feel like this might be an advert for power bait <laughs> from the jar. Um, what is the best time to fish for a rainbow trout? Early morning from dawn through two hours after sunrise. Mm hmm. What's the best bait for rainbow trout? Eh, yeah, not all the things I've got. Should I use a bobber for trout? Hmm. Are trout top or bottom feeders? They're not bottom feeders, but they feed predominantly near or just off the bottom. Okay, well now I know. Uh, well, you should also have a look to see if it has a if there is a Steam guide. Probably not. The game launched literally today. But then there was the demo, so I don't know. Excuse me. The only Steam guide is somebody posting their five minute YouTube first impressions of the gameplay. Which is not a guide. I had not realized that people were exploiting the guide system in such a, like, absolutely cynically garbage way. Cool. Good to know. Uh, this is the wrong time of day to be catching this, then. I, one thing I can definitely say for this is I need to leave and come back in the morning, I think, for catching rainbow trout. Although I guess if any of the lures was going to do the job, it would probably be this one, because the other one was along the surface, if they feed along, feed near the bottom. I want a lure that goes... That goes low. Which is definitely doing. So thin. Here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. Gotcha. Yeah. There's a pick roll, we can bring that straight in. I thought I genuinely thought that was gonna give me zero XP for that then. <laughs> well, that was garbage. Exit location. Go fishing, Jackson County, in the morning, in the...
Do you want the storm? Let's go for the storm. Morning storm. Can't can't get you the sword, but we well, you know. Ooh, that storm came in first. There's the lightning. Man, I hope I brought my waterproofs. Probably need to tweak the audio on the stream, actually thinking about it, like I strongly suspect. Yeah. Uh, what am I doing? I'm apparently trying to launch OBS again. Um, yeah, it's real loud, isn't it? Good lord. Alright, try that on for size. Okay, it looks like there's some good fish out today. Gonna go straight through this rock, yeah, yeah, cool. Spooky. I'm skirt. Scurry. Hey, oh, come on, what are you doing? Why are these fish so fast? This game's in like hyper mode. Okay, there we go. Jeez. Turbo fishing. It's the lightning, it provides the energy to make the game go fast. Visual effects, they are too powerful. No, we don't hide behind a rock. Here we go, here we go, here we go. I wonder if it puts you in a lobby with everybody who's in the same kind of weather conditions as you. And time of day. Is this the, the stormy morning lobby? God is a bass. Big old bass. 20 XP, noise. Get out of here, you. Uh, right, 
I'm gonna try the old float fishing with a bunch of those. Yeah, got a couple of them. <laughs> Two hundred and eighty bread. Oh, okay. Cool. I get a I guess you buy more than one at a time. Uh does it attract trout? No. Bream, road, barbel, chub, eye tench, and carp. Perch and bream. No one for trout, so Yeah, maybe not. Maybe maybe we stick with what I got. Cannot, for the life of me, see where I'm casting. Oh wait, this one needs to go a little faster, doesn't it? Okay, 18% acceptable. It's right on the threshold between... Okay and not okay. I feel like it's a better. Sp it feels like a better speed because you're kind of like swimming through the water rather than just skipping along the surface. Okay, that's, that's kind of kind of kind of working, maybe. Go always kind of let it sink a bit. Down to where you want it to be. And then bring it in. It does rise up pretty quickly, actually. Mm. This one's not rich, really not working for me right now. You were there. You spawned into existence. Take the bait. Oh, 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 oh! That's a good. That's a good fish. Possibly, might be a good fish. Go behind that rock. It's like they know that's how they can invade me. Now, oh, you will swim out into the into the middle of the lake.
It's coming in slowly. Actually, no, it's moving, it's moving, it's moving. I think it's tired. I think we're winning. It's still fighting. There you go. No way. Oh, it's gonna be worth so much money. This is gonna be like 50 XP, gonna level up immediately. Use it to buy a new fishing rod. Oh, come on. You've been down the end of the river. Come back. No, six meters away. Come on, you're damn near here. Oh, gotcha! Nailed it. Sockeye salmon. One point something. One point seven six. Good. Worth twelve bucks, or I can release it for twenty-four XP. That is pretty good. Oh, ah, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't press that entirely by mistake. Uh, catch, so my daily quests are to catch four kilos of sockeye salmon, catch fish of any species that weigh a total of 10 kilos, catch two kilos of brown bullheads. Ah. Okay. Huh. That's interesting. I don't press F3 to show and hide that. I press the weird keys on the side of my keyboard. I press G3. I should probably configure one of those weird bonus keys to be like... Oh, crap. I'm going way too fast to be like a tab, since apparently I don't have a tab button on this keyboard. <laughs> oh right, okay, of course. To cast, yeah. Because I brought it in so fast, I need to cast. More salmon, please. Or a big old trout. Big old trout also good. Oh, 
126 XP to the next level. Let it sink for a bit first this time instead of railing straight away. Okay, well this is clearly not working out for me, and I guess Salmon did like the old classic twist, so let's go with the old classic twist. I did catch some Salmon using that thing. I did catch a lot more than I did with the spoon, just generally. Speaking of catching things. Okay, this one's, this one's gonna be a fighter. I did say like all the fish generally get sort of gradually better over time. They're hopefully just like the longer you stay here. Just the better stuff you're gonna get. Start catching some good fish. Kind of a key way to do it where they're like, oh yeah, like the fish are growing because that's what fish do. And it's like, well, they're just adding a sense of progression to the game, really. But also, yeah, sure. Like, in the time I've been stood on the riverbanks here, the fish has, like, grown larger. Why not? <laughs> Maybe it's like between fishing trips the fish grow larger, so you should leave and come back over and over again. It's like you come back each week. Yeah, that, that went straight through the rock, didn't it? Come on. You're almost in. So close. I 
That's a bass. That's the biggest bass I ever got. Right, one more of those would level me up. I'm, yeah, I'm gonna be honest, I'm getting kinda tired. Kinda like to wrap this up, but that close to level three. Nah. Yes, to get to level three. Uh, we'll go sleeps. Oh god, it is like ten to midnight. Hey, that's uh, that's not actually a big fish. Okay, fine. Well, it might be it might be worth something. God help, God help me if they ever put, like, line collision detection into the game. Brown bullheads are worth not anywhere near enough. 8 XP. What if I were to keep it and grow it? Ooh, it's a two-star one. Ooh. Get in my aquarium. All I need is one more good salmon. I'll be very happy. Hey! Uh, speak, oh the devil! And he shall appear! Right. Okay, let's get some speed. Um, actually, I don't think that's a very big salmon. I can put quite a lot of drag on this, and it's uh, not fighting me. That's not going to be worth the 23 XP I wanted it to be. It's worth six. Fine! You know what? You own the aquarium and get grown as well. Why not? That was a zero star salmon. I'm going to grow them till they're worth selling. Start my own little fish farm in my house. Why not? Okay, one more salmon. One good salmon though, please. Why is it not real again? Ah, there it goes. There it goes. Okay, you'll do for me. Uh, or not? Or maybe I lost it. It's a shame. Feels like reeling it in is not being very responsive. It's lag. 
Fishing lag. Hey, you're not a good fish. You are not a good fish. Easy catch, though. That's the important part. Come on. 3 XP. Come actually on. Okay, we're in the water. Good. Good, good. I don't know how that was on the ground. Like I didn't cast it in a different direction to where I normally cast it. I didn't cast it any further. Because I usually catch cast it to the maximum. Okay. Right. You're hooked. Whoa, 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 I, let's lose that drag. Wow. Alright, this might actually be the one that makes the difference, so... Yeah, come on. In! Wait, huh? I thought it was something in the sky then. Big bird, maybe. Birds tend to like go out and about when it's stormy like this. I don't know if they necessarily do. the technique is here, it's not budging. Come on! Ooh, 12 meters, yes. It budged. 10. Hey! Come on! Getting deja vu here. I think I've done this fight with this fish before. Come on, yes! Small mouth bass. Four. Hey! Right, we can go to Zalasi Letnisko now. And we've got 30 bucks. Exit location. Let's go have a quick nosy there. Get my skill point. Extra XP. Thank you very much. Wait, unlock previous. Wait, do I have to unlock both of those to get? The oh, I hope it was like a, it was just a path. Or one would unlock that. Well, that's annoying. When you reach a new level, the amount of time you earn extra coins. Oh, it is like for five minutes after you level up. Okay. 
Fusion Aquariums grow faster. Okay. Wait, I didn't get a... Did I not get a... I didn't get a skill point when I leveled up. Oh. Oh, and this is not going crazy anymore. Yes, good. I feel like I must have done that. Catch this many fish of a given species, three. I've definitely caught three of a given species. Is it the specific sea species they had in mind? Do you want to tell me? Catch a fish of any species that weighs at least one kilo. Well, I've done that. This is clearly... That's not working, is it? Fishpedia! Fishpedia! After all that, really? I found it right at the end of the stream. Ah, uh, okay. Doesn't tell me anything about it, does it? Cool, clean streams and lakes with highly oxygenated water. Adult rainbow trout is characterized by a pink band along the lateral line have black spots on the sides and fins. Coloring depends on the age and habitation of fish. Rainbow trout can be 145 centimeters long and 23 kilos. Predatory fish with a varied diet will eat anything that catches its eye. Okay. Fair enough. Right, go fishing, Zalasi. What? I have to buy a license. Is this a? Is it permanently unlocked when I buy that though? Okay. I hope that stays unlocked. We can do Slovakia at seven. Noon under clear skies. Why not? Let's go have a look. I'm not gonna go fishing here, it's far too late, but like we've unlocked it. Hey. Interesting. Interesting. Cute. Charming. Lovely. Looks to be a lot shallower in most places. It does not look like a big body of water. Eh, okay, there's a little bit of a lake over here. Some pretty lily pads. Those definitely ducks. That's an actual duck. Well, there we go. That's nice. Well, that looks safe to climb onto. Sure, why not? Dangling out here like this. Little boat shed and things. Ah, cool. Can I go over there? Out on the jetty. Oh, take a seat. Can I take a seat? Can you take a seat? You cannot take a seat. I can stand on it and ride the ramp. Woo! Cool. Well, that's good. I'm going to bid you farewell for tonight, though. That is... Uh, that's all the fishing we got time for today. Um, I hadn't specifically and particularly got any designs on playing more of this but it has been surprisingly more popular than i had anticipated i have in recent times become accustomed to having very poorly attended streams but a few folks came by to say hi and see the game today so i don't know maybe fishing's the way forward or maybe it's just because it's launch day um either way um i kind of have enjoyed this 
and I might might be reasonably easily persuaded to play a little bit more of it. <laughs> Who knows? Uh, but not tonight. So thank you very much for joining me. I've been Morocco. This has been Ultimate Fishing Simulator 2, now available in early access. I will see you next time.